Today we're making mi richa richa or richa richa noodles, an Indonesian street noodle dish with an addictively spicy chicken topping. This is super easy to make and with very minimal ingredients, so let's do this. First, our chicken. I recommend using chicken thighs or legs, basically the fattier parts of the chicken just because it's a lot more tasty but you can most definitely use chicken breasts if that's what you have. Now you want to give this a fine chopping. I'm using scissors just because it's so much easier this way and you want them in tiny little minced pieces just like this. Next, prepping our spice base, which are a bunch of very easy to find ingredients. First of all, your standard onion. You can also use shallots. These are some chopped garlic or you know, about two to three cloves of garlic. Ginger, give it a chop for easier blending. I'm adding a cherry tomatoes here just so it's not too spicy. Next, the important ingredient, red chilies. You are going to need some fresh red chilies. Give them a chop for easier blending. And next, the second important ingredient, Thai burst eye chilies, the real spice bombs in this dish. And then give all of that a blitz. Now I'm using a food processor because I like a rougher chop for my base paste, but you can most definitely use a blender, it's not an issue. And then done. Now this is the consistency that I personally like. Okay, and we're ready to cook. Now to a pan, add lots of vegetable oil or any neutral tasting oil that you have. So this is going to be a very oily topping, I'm not gonna lie. Now once the oil is hot, add in the chili base paste mince from earlier and give that a stir fry over low heat for about 2-3 to three minutes. And then we add bruised lemongrass and some kefir lime leaves. Now make sure to tear the leaves up before adding them to the pan. These two ingredients are really going to add a gorgeous sort of citrusy fragrance to the sauce but if you can't find this then just don't include them in the dish. And basically, you want to saute all of this until you see the oil take on a red hue. So pretty much something like this. Once that happens, turn up the heat to a medium to high and add your minced chicken. Saute your chicken pieces until it is not pink anymore before adding a brown sugar or you can just use regular white sugar. And for that burst of umami, I am going to add a light soy sauce and dark sweet soy sauce or a ketchup manis. Now, this is totally optional but it really helps in boosting the flavor. I'm adding a cube of a chicken stock. Basically, kind of crumble it in just like this. Totally optional, okay? But if you're wondering why it tastes so good at the street side stalls, this is why. MSG. You would also notice that I didn't need to add salt because there's salt already in the stock cube. Now, if you are not using the stock cube, then make sure you add some salt to taste. Give that a stir fry and let the chicken finish cooking and then you are basically done with your chicken richa richa sauce. Super easy. Okay, now let's prep the noodles. In Indonesia, bakmi noodles are commonly used, but I'm just going to be using some fresh store-bought yumian or banmian noodles. Any wheat noodles with a soft bite would go great here. You want to give that a quick blanch or just follow the cooking instructions on the packaging. Now, to a bowl, I'm adding some of the oil from our richa richa sauce first. And then I'm sliding in my noodles and then toss it through. You want to make sure that the oil coats every strand of the noodles. And you can already see how glossy and yummy this looks already. 
And then a coated well. Now I'm happy with this already. I am going to add the rest of the chicken topping. Of course, I am going to need some blanched green veggies topped with fried onions and a fresh squeeze of lime. And we are officially done with our Mi Richa Richa. Savory, spicy, addictive. Mi Richa is my current favorite street food to whip up at home because it's just so easy. So make sure you give it a go and goodbye.